I don't know what pulled these guys to Afghanistan in the first place, but it was really cool. I don't know if that was their goal, was to get people to build these, but that was one of the draws for me. I, mean, I have a background in drafting, but I'm not a carpenter. Um, I'm just building it because I want one. So this project for me, it started when I saw some images um, that Lucas Burke and Sean Foley had put out to document this style of photography and these Afghan box cameras in Kabul. And the images produced by these cameras were amazing. They were just, they were just street portraits of people, but the images just had something to them. And the, Kickstarter campaign they had going was so that they could document it fully, document the story of the photographers and of these cameras, and get the story out before it was lost. And I was taken by the images, by the history, by their story, um, and I knew I had to be a part of it, so I had to build myself a camera. Watching the guys in Afghanistan like put one of these things together. You know, they would look at somebody else's camera to, to maybe take some measurements or get an idea. And then in really, really basic uh, workshop conditions, they'd put one of these things together. So, um, you know, every one ends up being its own thing. I mean, it truly is a craft built machine. They were photographers who had been essentially put out of business by the Taliban, uh, having banned photography. They allowed some photographers because they needed it for official identification for passport photos, for driver's license, stuff like that. They allowed these guys to keep doing what they were doing, but they, were, they couldn't have a studio. Like, the studios were shut down, so they made their studio and their camera all in one, and they'd set up shop out on the street. But there's just something to them, it, and so much feeling is transmitted through that black and white paper image. If somebody can create in that situation after being at war for 10 years, it's like, what's stopping me? You know, I mean, what excuse do I have not to do something? It certainly opens up the, the doors to be creative. It made me think about, you know, my creative process. I mean, we're all creators in some way, and they didn't seem to think they were creating art, but they were. And, you know, when other people look at what you're doing and they call it art, I mean, that's, there's no better compliment than that.